Another member of President Trump's cabinet is leaving the administration under a cloud of suspicion. Errol Barnett reports. The first thing President Trump tweeted this morning was that his interior secretary is moving on, writing, quote, Ryan Zinke will be leaving the administration at the end of the year. Well, I think he's done a very good job. I do think Last month, the president refused to fire Zinke and even defended him despite mounting investigations into his alleged misuse of power. The Interior Department's Inspector General is investigating several abusive position complaints against Zinke, referring at least one of them to the Justice Department. Last year, President Trump asked Zinke about one of the allegations against him. He did ask Sec Secretary Zinke, uh, just for clarification purposes. And he Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said the president wanted to know more about a $300 million contract awarded to Whitefish Energy. The Montana-based company was given a lucrative power restoration deal in Puerto Rico following Hurricane Maria, despite having only two employees. It will be a Congress of transparency. Democrats were planning on investigating Zinke's actions once they take the House majority in January. The outgoing secretary released this statement today saying, quote, After 30 years of public service, I cannot justify spending thousands of dollars defending myself and my family against false allegations. How badly do you want that, that job? I don't want that job. I love the job, jobs that I have now. And more importantly, I think the chief of staff is doing a really good job. And most importantly, I think the president thinks he's doing a great job as well. I believe so. Meanwhile, despite budget director Mick Mulvaney telling CBS News in February he was not interested in being President Trump's chief of staff, he has now been tapped for that role. With the president announcing last night outgoing chief of staff John Kelly would be replaced by Mulvaney on an interim basis. Now what's interesting is Mick Mulvaney was here at the White House Friday strategizing with President Trump on ways to avoid a government shutdown when the discussion turned to Mulvaney being the next chief of staff. CBS News has learned that the two spoke for a second time late Friday before President Trump made his announcement and Mulvaney will continue in his role as budget director. As far as who will be replacing the outgoing interior secretary, it's unclear yet. Uh, Zinke's number two is seen as the easiest choice at this moment, but a number of other prominent Republicans have been named. Dean Heller of Nevada, for example, and Scott Walker, the outgoing Wisconsin governor. President Trump says expect an announcement next week. Errol Barnett, CBS News, the White House.